What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Molly Moore with Molly Moore Reaction. Today I'm back with Jay with her first time reaction to Battlestar Galactica Season 2, Episode 17, The Captain's Hand. So we left off with the hostage situation in the club on Cloud 9. The sacrifice where, of Billy Baggins. Yeah, <laughs> the Billy Baggins? That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> uh, we left off with Billy obviously uh, got body. Dead as hell. Um, Apollo got shot. And... Um, couple of people but those were red shirts that was a uh, more of a sharing episode and pertaining of to the trust the trust issues between the human population the sidelines and the trust issues between sharing and clearly and they need to just when they're done with Donna. her they need to kill her well you never know she still has a child you know the issue is that she won't give up any of the other silence well, because if you're really trying to save them and help them, you would want them to know who the Cylons were. How do you know they might have to kill them? Anyway, I'm ready to get back into Keep the baby for show. testing. For, for what? Just to test it because it's a half human. <laughs> Keep the baby, big tests on it, but get rid of her. Anyways. Don't trust Jay around, nobody. Don't. <laughs> you can't get nowhere with her in life. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm at Rilladama. Don't worry, I've just come to do <laughs> it. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what you say. I'm not going to change my mind. I don't think he cares if you keep the baby or not. Oh, no, I think he does because the population is... Your parents are worried about you. It's her choice. It is. Do you, you have any idea what they do to me? Please, do not send me back. Some people might say she was a victim of political persecution. That Hell, is true, too. She could apply for asylum. He wants to save her. She has to be fiction. young if the parents are involved, though. Under Geminon law, the girl is still the property of her parents, and they can deal with her once she's safely back on her ship. To be honest, this crazy lady. I'm more concerned. Abortion was legal under colonial law before the attacks, and so it is still legal today. It's obscene. Doesn't this matter what you think. Abortion odds. You cannot equivocate on this point if you want our support in the coming election. If you think she's gonna be Why damned for doing it, she could be damned. Her asylum is under review. Thank you, Sarah, very much for coming in. She's like, what, bitch? Yep. I'm not turning that girl over. I'm certainly not banning abortion. The fact is, that number doesn't go up very often. That's true, too. I know it's like you want to keep people, but you can't force people. What if she was raped or something? Yeah, well, I mean, I get that, but at the same time, like, you need as much reproduction as possible. Yeah, but you shouldn't force someone to give birth to a baby they don't want to give birth to. But Even for the population. The right to control her body my entire yeah. career. I agree. If we really want to save the human race, we better start having babies. Yeah. Yeah, but if you do it this way, you're no better than the Cylons having those farms of humans impregnating. Yes. It's you're no better. It's a sticky situation. It's yeah. not. It is. It's not worth someone's... You know what reminds me? Remember that movie we watched with the really young girl and the guy? And they were like the last ones on that planet or something? Yeah. And he he didn't want to, but yeah. he was basically he was gonna rape her because yeah, she didn't want to have the yes. babies. Yes. And guess what happened to him? Yeah. His face got chewed off. Where is Shark's last transmission? There's not much there. You really couldn't barely hear them. Eve distress. Eve distress. What was that? Rece received. Received distress call. But maybe that's where they went to go find out. And they just uh, disappear from the radar. All I have done since I got to the beast is trying to help, and all I've gotten is Garner's foot in my ass. Well, maybe you need a kick in the ass. <laughs> I can't take him serious. <laughs> the way he just yelled like that. What is your problem? You shot him. That's my problem? You keep fracking up, and I keep having to clean it up. Poorly, your life is so hard, isn't it? You mean since I got shot? That's what it's really about. You don't think she feels horrible for that? Repeat, emergency. Buster, this is Red Devil, man. Is that you, buddy? Come back to me. That doesn't sound right. Looks right? Mm -hmm. Some sound off. Raptor. Buster himself might have jumped away to run down a phony distress call. It could be a trap. That's yeah, that does not sound right. Is this your theory, Major? This is Captain Thrace's theory, is it not? The fuck does that have to do with anything? Because he just doesn't. He doesn't want to say that. But you took any lead you can get. Then spin up the FPL driver, prepare to jump the ship. Yep. Yes, sir. You're gonna jump the whole ship? You could be going into a this trap. Cap. I think this is a Cylon trap. And, and I disagree. I'd be like, I'm getting off the ship then. Admiral, we finally got the break we've been looking for, bearing on the distress signal. 
I can jump there inside of two minutes. Silence have been known to lure our ships into traps. I mean, if he yeah, says sir. no, he can't go because he's out of right? Think likely. Yeah. We, Captain Thrace and I are of the opinion that the first two raptors may very well have been lured away by just such a trick. He just wants a yes man. Yep. He dealt with the ship way more than they have. He's gonna do it anyway, isn't he? If we continue on our present course, within the next 18 years, the human race will simply be extinct. Gotta reproduce. That is true. I mean, it's a hard decision, too, because... It is. That's what I said. It's not that easy. I mean, both sides, you, you want both sides to have their way, but at the end of the day, if you don't have a... The fact is that if the species Maybe if they just make it conditional, like if it was from rape or something. Therefore, I'm issuing an executive order. Mm. Anyone seeking to interfere with the birth of a child, whether it be a mother or a doctor or a medical yeah. practitioner, shall be subject to criminal penalty. It's so, quite simple. If you don't want to have a baby, you just don't have sex. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they have condoms available or right, not, but because how many of these people can't even have kids anymore because they're old? Recon. Exactly what I'm pointing. There's not that many that are in their 20s and they just, this is in direct they're too important the to lose, Major. Good, but there's more Keep older people. Making this an illegal action on you your part, sir. Major. Sergeant of the Guard. I am forced to command of this vessel this man is in direct under federal regulations and place you under arrest. Take him below. Sergeant, the commander is don't do this. relieved, escorting to his court. This man is not a member of this crew, and you will obey a direct order that you have been given by me, no. and you will do it now. Above. He's above. You're going to lose your life, too. Arrest him. Major, you'll come with me. You're going to lose your your job. All of you are going to be incriminalized. Admiral, the Pegasus has jumped. They're gone. I'd be pissed. And you took my son with you? Shit. We haven't seen a jump in a while. But who is that? Who? Cool. The guy who's running the Pegasus. That's the one they anointed from the old fleet. From, but uh, that wasn't her second hand, man. No, he died, remember? Oh, yeah. So there's other people that take their plate. There's obviously people get promoted. It's our recovery team, and let's bring our people home. Well, they're going to have to put him in jail, obviously. So they should just give that ship to Apollo. Those don't look Pegasus great. Red Devil. Our two birds look intact. See, you idiots. Who's in there? They're probably in there dead. Yep. Blood everywhere. And it wasn't from a lack of oxygen. I repeat, they're all dead. So are you about to be. Got you. I wonder how they know that they're there. Oh my god. Oh my god is right. Got him. Oh my god. You idiots. You guys need to jump back out. Can they do that? Look at all this. You fools. <gasps> you saw almost half that ship is red now. Wow. Inoperative, you idiots. We're stuck here, sir. What is gonna happen? The BSG gotta come over. They're gonna have to come save them. You have the con. Oh, now you wanna trust him with it. If this ship survives, it will be a power ship. It's glad to stay there waiting. But what do you want them to do? I mean, no, I'm not saying it's their fault. Are they going to jump with them to save them? Yes or no? Will they risk their own ship to do this? Would you? Hell no. Oh, well, it's my there. son's on there, though. Hey, you got a star over there? Hell no, I would not. You see how big all those ships around them are? Plus all the small ones around them? They're screwed. We need those FTLs fixed soon. We're dead. Fix them. Right up the middle. We don't have a choice. Yeah. You gotta do it to save it. Y'all better hold your breath. Maybe he'll just die doing this. Okay. How much time they have? Now close this hatch behind me. We're losing air. Close the goddamn hatch. Close it. Well, you know your lung capacity ain't that big. He's gonna die in that damn hatch. Yeah, that's chaos right now. Yes. <laughs> she having the time of her life. Yep. It's been a while since she actually been out actually fighting a bunch besides Star. Why is it so windy in there? Because of that little hole? Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can turn them. You should bring one person with you. If they were willing to go. I don't know if that would make the oxygen run out faster. Uh, uh, Fix the hole. Uh, 
Comrade Skipper, you're almost out of air. What is he doing that for? Because it won't turn. You would think they would maintain these regularly enough to be Well, when you got hit with nuclear stuff. I guess. He's done. I told you he was gonna die in there. I like I've never seen this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you seen it. I'm just saying. I told you. I knew he would die in there. Bring our birds home. Do it fast. Close it up. Now get us out of here. Close up shop, buddy. Jump. Y'all thought it took one out though. Well, disabled at least. Freaking fool. Yep. Command is about people. Remember that. As you take command. The beast. Hey, I told you, I told y'all. Got your wings. Don't let me fail second time. My boy Powell got his own ship, boy. Congratulations, Commander. Commander Apollo. I'ma cry. Why? I'm so happy for him. This is the best episode ever. Really? Yes, for a long time, yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Not ever, but in a long time, yeah. I knew it. So predictable. President, word has it that you do not intend I to hate this lady. The, girl on Galactica. the law didn't come until she after the name, fact. Sarah. This is in total violation of the law. My order came after she sought her procedure. No laws have been broken. Exactly. You better take what you got. A steak walk. Yep, she's so salty. I hate that lady. <laughs> it's like the first time you've seen her. Uh, she, what do you mean the first time I've seen her? You realize well, she was in the right? beginning when they were... Yeah, but I'm saying, this is the only episode. She's the Gemini lady from the other episodes when they were voting for Zarek and stuff. Was she? Yeah, she's remember. one of the people that you had to go in front of to vote for their community to vote on it. I don't know. She's the really religious crazy one. She's the one who believed it was the yeah, biblical well, thing with the president. I wonder if his girl's gonna go well, with him. Probably Tom not, right? A lot of fun at those early morning briefings, because the EXO's a lot of fun the first thing. Because mm. she works in Galactica. Congratulations. Commander Apollo. Hold her hand one more time. Are we okay? That's who they should just be together. <laughs> I, however, cannot with good conscience support it. And this is why you will run against. I'm so sorry. Every time we restrict or curtail one of our rights, we become one step closer to being like them. As the vice president, exactly. I am bound to follow the administration's lead. Given the current situation, I'm afraid that I he have wasn't no expecting that, were you, lady? I'm that fucked I am, up to you right now. So flat. <laughs> Science against religion. Uh, yeah. That was a silent clap, but nobody else could hear it. <laughs> no, and they're just using you to get closer to what they want. Facts. All right, guys, that was Battlestar Galactica season two, episode seventeen, the Captain's Hand. Now, that was a very great episode. It I, was haven't, good. I haven't seen that one in a very long time. I forgot part of that, like the ending. I wasn't. I, I remember, but parts in the beginning, I forgot who was in charge of Pegasus at the time, though. But overall, it was a great episode. How do you feel about it? I loved that episode. As I don't know if you're gonna keep the edit in, but Jay did say that this is probably her favorite episode in a long time yeah this is right. a good one what you like about it so much it was just i like that i guess i like the action parts yeah, uh course. the story was good it touched on a lot of different areas mm -hmm. so we have like the political stuff going we yeah, have the religious, religious stuff, stuff going yeah. we had the survival the the um sh the stuff with the ship yeah um he died in the damn vault like i said he would <laughs> and Apollo got his wings. Like yes, I said, he Commander. would. Commander uh, Apollo, uh, if you yes. nasty. So I'm very happy. Yeah. With that, how that went, like the whole thing. So it was a dumb decision, obviously, from the previous commander to uh, yeah jump the way he did. Cause that call didn't sound right. No, it didn't sound right. It sounded, it sounded weird. Right. It didn't even sound the same voices. It sounded it's like, like different voices were talking. Somewhat ro robotic in the way, if you really yeah. hear it. But they always sound kind of robotic because they're going over some kind of speaker. But that just sounded too off, off, right? At like least to staged. us, that, that would sound too like off. Like someone pieced stuff together on yeah. a soundboard and put it out or something. I don't know. I mean, if anything, you want to test it. Send a couple ships just to get in and out. Just double check it real quick. You can just get right the hell out yeah. just in case something dropped off. You don't jump the whole damn base ship 
to that. That's how they got almost got this shit rocked. Right? Well, he felt like he had no choice because uh, he, he really thought that they were there. Well, they were. I mean, dead, dead. <laughs> but that's it was like they said it was a trap. So, um, uh, Gaius, because uh, running for president. I'm not. I, I remember. I remember watching this. I wasn't too shocked. Uh, for that, especially when when um. Well, he said in the beginning that he didn't really want to. Yeah, but if they I didn't guess... have that, that would, I would have been shocked. But the fact that they had that at the beginning of the episode, you. With him saying he doesn't want to run. Yeah, because it's like you really wouldn't show that unless something was going to happen. We're going to make yeah, him. Yeah, make him it, run. Make him run, which we obviously he did. But I wonder why he wants to run if he doesn't like the tediousness. Yeah. And that's not a very good thing. Yeah. I don't think he'll get it, though. You don't think he'll uh, get the presidency? No. You never know. I mean, I mean, obviously, there's, uh, what they say, there's, there's religions in their group that are, are, like, the Geminis that are for this, but then there are some who aren't for the... There uh, are more science-based, factual. Yeah. But I think, like, I don't know. There are some for abortion, there are some not. So because the science thing also about like how he said, oh, like in eighteen years we'll be extinct. Like yeah. that should want he should also want to preserve life as much as possible. Yeah. That's why I said like maybe a middle ground on depending how they got impregnated. Yeah. Or how young can determine um maybe like how if you can get an abortion or only by a certain month, like you know, up to three months you can mm-hmm. get an abortion. Or something like that to preserve... Some kind of middle ground. Something in the middle. Yeah, maybe. that... Under normal circumstances, though, no, it shouldn't be anything. Like, like you should be able to have an abortion. choice, whatever. right? But just knowing that your population is basically at the brink of extinction. Yeah. You so have you're to... saying how, like, some are too old? Yeah, some are too old. <clears throat> I don't think most of the population is too old. Some might be too young. But there's a good amount that are. The, I'm assuming anyone who's in the military probably can't. Like, they're probably all young. People like Starbucks and stuff, they're probably not allowed to have babies. I no, I don't think they're allowed. I think they're just too busy fucking doing their duties. Well, if they got pregnant or something, they'd be kind of screwed. Like, if Starbucks yeah. got pregnant out of nowhere, they'd kind of be screwed. Yeah. Because she can't be doing all that while pregnant, and then as soon as you give birth, you not you can't go back and do that yeah. either. Well, so, like, I think people of importance probably shouldn't be having babies. Yeah, this is a... a, a a very important like topic for a show like this to to tackle. Yeah, it is. Because you, no matter what you believe in, you're gonna find something in the show that you feel like, like Jay, was very strong on. Like it should be your choice, right? Yeah. You know what I mean. But then you got you got to think about the flip side of population, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're not having babies often. It's not like now. Where That's they, what makes it a hard choice. Hard choice. It's like the circumstances are in the right now. is crazy. With the population. But uh, overall, I love this episode. It's a great episode. It's a good way to uh, get into the last two episodes of the season. I'm going to do like them. Put a whiteboard right here with the number. We should. Actually, we should. Um, so, yeah, guys. We will see you guys next time on the next Battlestar Galactica reaction from Jay. And we will catch you guys on the flip and flip. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, that uh, little bell to get the notifications. And we will see you guys next time.